So these are the inserts for like the vaccine itself then? I don't know about the, they don't really give an insert for it. That's just what they give us. Okay. Yeah, they told us to print those off and we've never taken, but ingredients should be in there. Okay. Like the pages for the okay. Uh, it's pretty much everything about it that you. All right. Know. That's odd that they don't have an actual insert for the yeah. vaccine. <laughs> no one, I guess no one seems to know, but yeah, I will read these over. I appreciate the information. Thank you. use authorization not approval they didn't have one for Pfizer to even give me and there are no inserts for the vaccines that's pretty interesting um, not been seen before that's interesting since there's a patent existing on it um, you can get it through contact with another person predominantly respiratory okay mm-hmm unapproved vaccine that may prevent COVID. Interesting. Let's see what you should mention to your provider. If you have allergies, if you've had myocarditis, if you have a fever, bleeding disorder, immunocompromised, pregnant, plan to become pregnant, breastfeeding, received another COVID-19 vaccine, have ever fainted. So this seems like medical things where they would say maybe you don't need that. I would think they would approve medical exemptions for these if you have these type of things happening. 18 and older, it's interesting that they've really been hammering this for ages five to 11 lately. Don't get if if you've had a severe allergic reaction, that's interesting because I know people that have those reactions that have been denied medical exemptions. Um, messenger RNA, the lipids, yep, that's how it gets through your cells. Hmm, okay, so that's it. All right. Joaquinta Columna Research University would say this is missing graphene oxide from the list, but all right, let's say that's all that that's in there. Moderna is unapproved. Okay, let's keep reading. What are the risks? So what are the benefits and the risks? So it says it may prevent in the earlier pages and this says it has been shown to prevent. So we really don't know, it may or it may not. There's a remote chance it can cause severe allergic reaction. I think theirs has like thousands, but they're only 1% reported too, so probably more than that. Difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, a fast heartbeat, a bad rash, dizziness. Now, it doesn't list the convulsions and things that people are putting on there, at least yet. Myocarditis, that's on there, and pericarditis. 
chest pain, shortness of breath. This has been very prevalent in young men under age 30. Injection at the side. Reactions, pain, tenderness, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, nausea, vomiting, fever, severe allergic reactions. Again, we see the heart issues, FYI. Um, that's not a reversible thing. Once that happens to your heart, your heart tissue only scars. It is the one tissue in your body that doesn't regenerate. So that's a pretty big risk. Let's just be informed here, especially for young people with good immune systems who have a 99% survival rate of this virus. This seems like a bigger risk to me. These may not be all the possible side effects of this vaccine. Hmm. Serious and unexpected side effects may occur still being studied in clinical trials hmm. anyone that takes it is in a clinical trial what should i do if i experience side effects call 911 how about adverse reporting let's see oh here we go you can report adverse side effects would love to know if anyone has had those and had trouble reporting them um, enroll in vSafe, a new voluntary smartphone-based tool that uses texting and web service to check in with people who have been vaccinated to identify potential side effects. Now, why would they go through all of this trouble if it was super safe and those side effects were super rare, right? Like they say. Mm, interesting. It's your choice to receive or not receive the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Should you decide not to receive it, it will not change your standard medical care. Isn't that novel? More novel than this virus. Um, other vaccine choices. Another choice is comoranity. So that's actually the Pfizer BioNTech comoranity one, which says it's approved, but is also, that's not correct. Um, because there's a whole bunch there. Anyway, I won't go into it. Right, if you're immunocompromised, you may receive a third dose of this. A third dose may still not provide full immunity. Hmm. Okay. And if you're pregnant, discuss your options. I would say run the other way. You will get a vaccination card to show when you return for your second dose. Because we need papers just like Nazi Germany. All the things. Um, let's see. It will be recorded in your state, local jurisdiction's immuni immunization information system or other designated system. How many designated systems and what are they? Hmm. Interesting. Can I be charge an administration fee nope at this time the provider cannot charge you for a dose who's paying for it and who's profiting off of it those are good questions where can i report cases of suspected fraud okay countermeasures injury compensation program that's interesting federal program that may help pay for costs of medical care and other specific expenses of certain people who have been seriously injured by certain medications and vaccines, including this one. Generally, a claim may be submitted within one year. So if your stuff happens outside one year, your SOO, but it's interesting that they would have this injury line if it wasn't so prevalent. Hmm, EUA emergency use authorization during a pandemic, which there is not one. Let's see. May issue an EUA when certain criteria are met, which includes there are no adequate approved and available alternatives, which we know that the HQ, the IVM, the monoclonal, all of that, there's whole regimens that early onset treatment no one's talking about they only want you to go to the hospital and get on a vent so and then they want to use remdesivir which causes kidney failure so their protocols are what's killing people not the vaccine not the uh covid the vaccines are and the protocols for treating or really not treating it 
Let's see, there's a fact sheet for caregivers. Okay, this is about Johnson & Johnson, unapproved also. Not that approval means anything. Kind of the, kind of the same here. Let's see, unapproved. It's an ongoing clinical trial. We know this, so if you want to be a lab rat, you can. Um, let's see, general side effects, bad rashes. So this is like the same blood clots with low levels of platelets. This is new. The brain, lungs, abdomen, legs, along with low levels of platelets um, have occurred in some people who have received the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine and people develop these blood clots and low level of platelet symptoms begin approximately one to two weeks following vaccination. Their highest in females 18 through 49. Um, chance of having this occur is remote. Again, I will refer you to open bears. Um, also, the yellow card program in the UK, they report a lot better, it seems, than the US. You should seek medical attention right away. Easy bruising, tiny blood spots under the skin at the site of the injection. Some people reported these like all over their body, which is interesting. Guillain Barre syndrome, a neurological disorder which the body's immune system damages nerve cells, causing muscle weakness. Sometimes paralysis has occurred, and some people have received this vaccine. Um, just FYI, one of the doctors that I've been watching says that only about 66% of people that have this actually recover from it. So that's something to, you know, consider if you want to risk that or not. This is all about informed consent, correct? So again, we're looking at the side effects that they say and the fact that this may or may not prevent you from getting it, spreading it, or lessening symptoms. So yeah, this is kind of all the same stuff from here on out. So just wanted to do a little investigative reporting. Um, it's kind of interesting that there is no vaccine insert and none of the pharmacies know why there is no vaccine insert. There are just these fact sheets that you can print off um, that they recommend you give people. So if you want to be informed, um, there's not a long list of ingredients in there because most vaccines don't have just like 10 ingredients or five ingredients like what's listed here. There's a lot more things. Um, and if you look at any of the vaccine inserts for vaccines that have had 20 years in development that have been being used for decades, I personally have had all of the things my whole life until about two years ago when I started looking into this stuff and questioning the narrative and being like, well, is what I've always done actually best? Um, they're like long vaccine inserts. They don't have one. They just have basically the regurgitated talking points that they're told to have. So if this helps some people be informed about their decision to get or not get the quote unquote vaccine, experimental mRNA injection. Um, you know, do your homework, do your research, ask questions, don't just go take the jab, look into some stuff on both sides of the coin before you do it and at least make an informed decision. I would really highly caution people because I believe that there's some really shady stuff um, in the vaccine. Look at um, La Quinta Columna's research of graphene oxide and how poisonous it is to the body and that they have found it in all of the vaccine companies' vials. Um, that is super sketch um, and it's not listed on these ingredients um, lists, but they are finding it in the vaccine. So. Anyways, lots of things to think about. Crazy time. I, uh, I really think that putting this stuff in our bodies is not good. I honestly personally don't think um, putting chemicals, aborted fetal tissue, um, monkey cell membranes, uh, parts of horseshoe crabs, all the different things that as I've researched vaccines, these ones and some others, um, it just, I feel like Abba Father put on this planet plants and different uh, supplements that do help our immune systems and I do believe that he didn't leave us wanting for anything. I believe that he who starts a good work in us does, um, he does faithfully complete it. So I think we have everything we need without um, 
in our human ingenuity, trying to continue to reinvent the wheel, I don't think it's necessary. I think there's plenty available for immunotherapy. And I think if we would just um, eat better and exercise more and stop smoking and drinking excessive alcohol and using preservatives in our food, you know, and eating junk and lots of sugar, like basically it's our lifestyle that causes us to be as sick as we are. And I would ask people to think like, who is approving these things? are fine to put in our food and into our bodies. It's the same people who are telling you that these vaccines are safe. And it's the same people who are telling you uh, or who are profiting from these vaccines and big pharma. Um, if you look at the mainstream media, a large percentage of their funding comes from pharmaceutical companies. Okay, like connect the dots. Our, our lifestyle and what the Western world is killing us. And it's making the pharmaceutical companies a killing. And the only thing we hear about with this virus is um, hospitalization and death. And it's not a death sentence, people. Most, this 99% survival rate worldwide. Look at what's going on in Israel. Look at what's going on in the UK, in Spain, um, in Sweden. I mean, look, don't just look at America, um, look everywhere in the world because it is a new world order that they do want to happen. And um, the United States is just a little piece of the puzzle. Um, so you need to look at the, the bigger picture of the whole thing. I do believe there's a very demonic agenda. And I think for me, um, I will caution myself not to make this a blanket statement, but for me, I think putting something that is a chemical abomination in my body to bow to a beast system, um, for me, that would be sinful to do so because I would literally be bowing to Baal if I did it. So everybody's got to take that for what it's worth. You got to weigh that out for yourself. Um, I understand the justifications of why people do it. I mean, we can all justify a lot of things for a lot of different reasons and I'm, I'm not judging anybody but eventually Abba Father will judge us all. And so I just want people to really take time, not make decisions based on fear or coercion or being bullied or because you fear man and what the opinions of other people are gonna be on you. I really want you to, to make an informed decision for yourself and pray and be led and you know, God have mercy on us all for whichever decision that we do make because at the end of the day, it is each of our choice. Shalom.